friends, and welcome from the parish of St. Anne's. My name is Don Barris, and I serve as the priest and pastor of this parish. My friends, I want to ask you, do you know what Sabbath is about? So this weekend, we have an interesting reading from the Gospel in which Jesus heals a woman on the Sabbath, and he gets challenged by the religious authorities for doing so, because according to them, one does not work on the Sabbath, and his act of healing seemed to be an act of work. Sadly, I think the religious leaders misunderstand what the Sabbath is about. Sabbath, in the Jewish tradition, was understood to be a time for rest and renewal. And the way one rested and renew, renewed oneself was to spend time in the living God and to spend time with your loved ones. It still is understood as a time whereby you gather together to worship, either at synagogue or temple, to hear the word proclaimed, and then you spend time with your families, quality time, not necessarily always using technology, but really spending some quality time, maybe outdoors, playing games, sharing meals, really spending time together with each other. Because it's understood that when we do that, we are being renewed by our God. The same is so for Christians. Now, Christians, we don't technically actually observe the Sabbath in the same way that our Jewish brothers and sisters do. Our Jewish brothers and sisters commemorate the Sabbath from Friday evening through Saturday. Because in Jewish time, as in Christian time, a new bega day begins with sunset and ends the following day at sunset. In the Christian tradition, our day for rest and restoration is Sunday, because that's the day of the Lord's resurrection. That's the third day, or as Christians will often refer to as the eighth day, the day of life. However, we're very similar to our Jewish brothers and sisters in the sense that that is a day when we gather together with others, and that's an important point. <laughs> Faith is not just about us and God. It's about the entire community coming before God. We gather together on Sundays for worship, to pray together, to study, to learn, and then also to spend some time sharing fellowship, having fun, being with our families, because those are the days in which we get to be renewed, renewed by God, renewed by one another. In fact, Sundays are probably the most important day in the life of the Christian. Our Sunday celebration of Eucharist is the most important thing we can do each week. And so my friends, I'm going to invite you, I'm going to challenge you, whether you're here, you're here in town or you're traveling, to be intentional, to really enjoy Sunday, to enter into Sunday as a day of rest and renewal. Don't let yourself get caught up in work. Don't get consumed by all the things you have to do. Try to be intentional to just give a pause. But most importantly, take time for God and your fellow faith community. Come to church, worship with us, worship the living God. Let God renew you on this day. And even if you're traveling, find a church that's nearby. It's important that we come together to worship our God. Because if we are disciples of Jesus Christ, we must spend time with Jesus to learn from him, to walk with him. And so I invite you this Sunday, come to St. Anne's, come worship with us, and come learn from the living God. My friends, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday at 1030. All are welcome here at St. Anne's, and it will be a delight to see you. Take care, and God bless.